Welcome to Meridian Layout and Basic Navigation. In this short video, we will cover the EDM top ribbon, the Meridian top ribbon, the main drop down menu, and basic screen layout and functionality. The ribbon and menus are accessible from all the screens in Meridian. The EDM ribbon at the top right has four buttons. When you hover your cursor over the buttons, it will give you a tooltip to tell you what that button does. The first one refreshes all the elements on the page. The second takes you back to the home page. The third button provides more information about EDM. And the last button logs you out of the program. The Meridian ribbon along the top right of the screen gives you quick access to workflow shortcuts such as the operations dashboard, solution monitoring, and the latest changes. Clicking on an item in the top ribbon will open the option in a new tab. At the top left of the screen, you will find the main menu by clicking the three grey bars. This will pin the menu and display a selection of different options to choose from. Clicking the menu again will hide it. When the menu is expanded, you can select from one of the items to see the options that are available for that module. To close the selections, click the X in the top right of the menu window. The screen layouts are broken into separate areas, and in most cases, if you select a row in one area, more details will display in the others. In this example, I've run updates to the well tables here. I can go down to the table changes and select the well header table. It populates with the wells that have had changes, and if I select one of those wells, I can view more detailed information about the well header and any changes that have occurred. Most of the windows in Meridian can be resized. If you hover your cursor between the tables, wait for the cursor to change, and you can drag the window to expand it. In this case, I've displayed previous and current changes for the well header table. I can go up to one of the buttons from the toolbar, click on highlight differences, and then I'm able to scroll down and see what the changes have been. The toolbar at the top of the tables allows you to work with your data. If you hover your cursor over the different tools, you'll get a pop-up that describes what that tool does. The first one allows you to filter your data. You can work with different operators to create a query. You can also choose to filter on your selected set of data. Next on the toolbar is the Illustrate tool, Launch Process, Export to Excel, Grid options for rearranging your display and choosing which columns are displayed, Reset Settings, which allows you to reset all the settings that are in your current window, and last Constructed Information. I can also drag column names around to change the order. I can reset the settings using the button on the toolbar. Grid options opens a box where you can choose which columns you want to see in your table and options for resizing columns and rows. I can also show a value distribution of the selected data set. In this example, I am viewing wells near Bakersfield, California and I have applied a filter here to narrow the selection to wells operated by Chevron USA. If I want to see how they are distributed by field, I can right-click on the field name, choose Value Distribution, and the grid view will show me the value, the count, and the percentages for those fields. If I click on the Chart tab at the top, it displays a pie chart, and when I hover my cursor over the pieces of the pie, it shows a pop-up for the field that I am selecting, with the statistics related to that field. That concludes Layout and Basic Navigation for Meridian. Thank you for watching.